Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO, free impartial advice on all your debt. Continue his rapid ascent. And who Campbell. This is something that comes along every now and then in generation, and it's special, and it's no hype. Glenn, everybody's been intrigued recently <laughs> because you called out Evander Holyfield and what would have been um, the clash of the old world cruiserweight champions. That didn't happen, Holyfield didn't take it up on you, uh, with you at all, and now we've had Roy Jones Jr., one of the greatest fighters this world's ever known, call you out. <laughs> Can you explain the background to that? So, you know, John, this is, um, it's almost as big a surprise for me as it is <laughs> for anybody, because I did, uh, for BT Sport, I did the, the Tyson-Roy Jones fight, sure. which, which intrigued me immensely that, you know, two lions of the game we're gonna we're gonna go at it in their in their fifties, and it became a very intriguing and a, and a, a good spectacle. Mm -hmm. It became a good spectacle to see how these guys, you know, after the lives they'd had and the careers they'd had, were gonna be. And sure. um, and it was a good fight. It was good entertainment. We had a we had a great night on BT Sport, and um, and I come away from that thing and you know, what's this? What's this all about? Now, I do know Evander Holyfield. Um, I spoke yeah. to Evander just about his opinion. Of that fight? Just about what did he think of that fight. And he said, yeah, I thought it was, I thought it was really good. I thought, they di I thought they did well. I thought Mike was, Mike was strong and, you know, he says, um, should we do it? And I was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I Whoop, said, well, whoops. if you're calling me out, he says, you call me out. Yeah. So, so I did, so I did, you know, I was just, you know, I just thought Evander Holyfield wants me to call him out. I mean, that in itself is, is something big. And then it, it went, you know, the, the papers got hold of it and the, the media got hold of it and it, it, went, it went very big. And then um, Evander went very quiet and, you know, he texts, he, he was texting me most days with a prayer from the Bible, but not, nothing mm -hmm. else. And then, and then, um, tough Boxing got involved, um, Simon Whittle and Robin Fowle got involved to try and make it happen and, um, and Evander's people were just, were, were not talking. So, um, so that was it, you know, I thought uh, a, a, nice, a nice bit of publicity and it was um, intriguing that, you know, what Evander had said and then the next minute I get uh, Christmas Eve, Christmas Eve night I think. Here's a present. And it was... Um, it was Roy Jones, Roy Jones Jr. calling, calling, calling me yeah. out, which you know is 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 amazing in itself. You know, you, uh, it was it was great. And I'm thinking, and he said, you know, Vander doesn't want it. I'll have it. Um, I think we can make this fight. So um, so then you're thinking about the realities of 56 years of age sure. and and not boxing for 27 years. And, and to be honest, you know, as, as you know, nobody knows me better. I haven't, I've been in the gym training fighters and, and been around sure. the gym, but I've never done any boxing training because I wanted to resist that urge of coming back. And yeah. I did resist that urge of, of coming back. Um, but then it, it just, it just, it just started to think, yo, can, I can do this. I can do this. Yo, if you, I can do this. I've got, um, and I went in the gym with, with my son. We went in the gym, you know, shadow boxed, put the, put the gloves on. And it was amazing because it just, I retired at 25. Very, you know, I had, very I had to come back. I was very badly mismanaged, as you know, and I, I had to come back to, 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 pay, to pay bills for money that I never got. And, um, and I, I still felt fresh. So I, you know, that gave me the confidence to say yes. You know, you want to fight? And, and you it, are saying yes. <laughs> I am saying yes. Right. 100%, you know, because... For that little moment, you know, when Holy, when the, there was talk of, you know, you're talking about giants of the ring, oh. Holyfield and Roy Jones. When that moment was, when it was discussed, it was the thought of, this has been a really tough year. This has been 
you know, I mean, I've, I have suffered massively, as have so many people. But I, I've, I've suffered depression for, you know, serious depression for, for many years. And, you know, got into trouble, you know, I've had problems with alcohol. And it's been, it's been tough times, tough, tough times. And, and it just wanted, I just wanted, and all of a sudden this inspired me. All of a sudden this just seemed a light that, whoa, something, something bright's happening. Can, can I ask you, because that's the interesting point, Glenn. A lot of people looking at you and possibly looking at Roy Jones Jr. and Tyson will say, why do you want this at, at 50 odd? And the cynics would say, are you in it either A, for the money, or B, because you've missed the glory days? I suspect with you it is neither of those reasons really, but people will want to know the answer to that question. Why are you doing this so, at this stage of your life? I mean, for, you know, first of all, this is not a comeback. I'm not coming back, you know, gunning for Usyk. I'm not coming back yeah. gunning for a Coley. It's not a comeback. You know, I'm 56. I, you know, I wouldn't get a, a license. This is an exhibition eight round, the same as Mike Tyson and Roy Jones, which was serious. You know, they were going to hurt yeah. each other. You know, there's, I, I mean, there's still that, that element in there. Um, but it just made it made me it made me feel it it made me want to get out of bed. It made me want to get out of the doldrums. It made me want to not feel depressed. It just it, it suddenly suddenly I felt over this last twelve months with no work. You know, I separated from my from my my partner in in January. Um, you know, so I, I live alone. It has been the worst, on top of the depression, you know, losing my brother and my nephew and, you know, so many of my family. This has been the worst year ever. And, you know, I, I've been close to the edge on so many occasions. And, you know, the one thing that you do when, when the depression is you hit the bottle and, you know, and it just makes things worse and you just, you know, and that, that's kind of what happened, so... Are you, are you proving to yourself, Glenn, and to other people that, yes, you can meet a challenge, yes, you can find a good reason to live properly again, not just exist, but to live with a meaning to it all, that this has given you the opportunity to do that, and if you pull this off, other people can look at you and say, yeah, he, he had a go at overcoming his demons. It's more fighting demons, or it's as much fighting demons as fighting Roy Jones. Oh, very much so. It's about redemption. It's about having fun and turning back the clock for night and getting some redemption and making some people happy and making some people smile and giving some people hope. You know, when this seems like there's none, there is hope. So, you know, if, I can, if Tyson Fury can come from 28 stone to, to win the, to become the, the champion of the world. If I can come back at 56 after not being in a ring for 27 years and take on the five weight world champion, then you know what? You can do it too. You know, and that's what, that's what my message is. You know, you can do it too. You can, you can come back. You can reinvent, reinvent yourself. You can, you can work harder. You know, you can get out of bed. There's no excuse. Let's all do it together. And Ryan Garcia continue his rapid ascent. Who and who Campbell? This is something that comes along every now and then in generation, and it's special, and it's no hype. Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO, free, impartial advice on all your debt.